Welcome to Nature Notes. My name is Hillary and I am going to be telling you all about this lovely fungus that you might have seen before on trees here at Schmickley Reserve or in other forests or maybe even your own backyard. This fungus is called Black Knot Disease and I have a picture of it right here. Again, it's also behind me. This disease was first described in 1821 in Pennsylvania. So it's been around for a very long time. So black knot disease is called that because it looks like black knots on a tree. And it's actually a fungus which is spread by something called ascospores. And ascospores are essentially tiny little reproductive seeds that um, are able to kind of spread by the wind and black knot disease their ascospores can actually spread by splashing puddles and things like that as well. So it spreads all over the place through wind, through water, um, and things like that. But it takes two winters for the ascospores to actually release. So the, the fungus can be around for about two years before it actually starts reproducing. And black knot disease usually is on trees of the prunus genus which would be like prunes, plums, cherry trees. When it was first found in 1821, it was on peach trees, but they don't find it on those anymore. We're not really sure why, but it's still interesting. But when it first infects the tree, it looks more like this olive green color. So it's a lot lighter than it is in its reproductive stage. So it goes from this olive green color and it's actually fuzzy, like velvety, and then it turns hard and black, and it almost looks like it's part of the tree, and a lot of times you don't realize it until winter or even end of fall when all of the leaves fall off the trees and you're able to see the branches. So since black knot disease spreads so easily, it's kind of hard to do managing on it, but if these knots on the tree get too large, they can actually kill off the branches of the tree. So if you have a tree with black knot disease, what you can do is prune those branches off. So the, here's a picture of someone pruning these branches. You wanna prune it before the knot and always remember that the ascospores or the reproductive part of this fungus can be spread by wind and water. So the only way to get rid of those is by actually burning the plant with the fungus on it or burying it deep into the ground so it kind of suffocates and isn't able to reproduce and spread the spores. One way to tell how much the tree is infected is essentially just by looking at all of the branches and the more fungus you see on the tree, the more heavily the tree has been infected. And if you don't get rid of those or if you aren't able to prune them away, um, then essentially the whole tree could lose all of its branches. So this tree, as you can see, there's quite a few of these black knots on them. So if it continues to keep them on there, it's easier to spread from branch to branch and the tree could end up losing most of its branches and essentially not be able to thrive anymore. Um, so now you've learned a little bit more about these black knots or knobs that you see all over trees, maybe in Schmickley Reserve, um, or even maybe you've gone to a cherry plantation or maybe in your backyard. So thank you. Have a nice day.